so glad that you joined me this Saturday morning. I have picked out, Sam and I worked together today, and we picked out a really cool book that I think you are going to love. It is called I Love My Hair, and it is written by Natasha Anast Anastasia Tarpley, and it is illustrated by E.B. Lewis. And let me tell you, when I read this book, I was so excited. Miss Underwood, I was so excited too, because I think a lot of our boys and girls are really going to like this story. I think so too, Sam, and I cannot wait until we read it. Can we go ahead and get started? Yes, can I read the story to the boys and girls? Well, I don't see why not, Sam. It is Saturday, and on Saturday, our bookworm friend comes. Yay! All right, well, let's get started, okay, Sam? I'm going to hold up the book, and then you're going to read it. Does that sound like a deal? Yes, ma'am. Can we shake antenna on it? All right, well, we've got a deal. Let's get started because I don't want to wait one more second to read this story. I'm going to hold it up to where the boys and girls can read. I see the pictures and you read it to them, okay? Every night before I go to bed, Mama combs my hair. I sit between her knees, resting my elbows on her thighs like pillows. Mama is always gentle. She wraps coconut oil along my scalp and slowly pulls the comb through my hair. And sometimes it still hurts. When Mama tries to get especially tangled places, I try my hardest not to cry, sucking in my breath and pressing my hands together until they're red. But a few tears always manage to squeeze out. Mama, stop! I cry when I can't stand the comb, tugging at my hair any longer. Mama puts down the comb and rubs the hurting places. She leans in close to tell me she has a big secret to tell. Do you know why you're so lucky to have this head of hair, Kenya? She asked. I shake my head. No, because it's beautiful. You can wear it any style you choose. I can spin your hair into fine, soft yarn, just like our grandmothers did at their spinning wheels, and weave it into a Puffy little bun. Or I can part your hair into straight lines and plant rows of braids along your scalp the way we plant seeds in our gardens and wait for them to grow. In the morning before we walk to the store, Mama adds colorful beads to the end of my braids. The beads click to the rhythm of my walk, helping me remember what we're going to buy. Tap, tap, clickety, clackety, milk, bread, peanut butter. Folks on the street look at me and smile as I dance along. Tap, tap, clickety, clackety, music makes my, music my hair makes just for me. Some days, I just let my hair be free. I to do what it wants, to go any which way it pleases. Then my hair surrounds my head like a globe. Globe, it's my Afro style. Once, when I wore it to school, the kids teased me. My head felt heavy and I let it hang down low. But my teacher made me feel better. She said when she was growing up, 
folks counted their hair as a blessing. Wearing an afro was a way for them to stand up for what they believed, to let the world know that they were proud of who they were and what they came from. Of my hair because it is thick as a forest, soft as cotton candy, and curly as a vine winding upward, reaching the sky and climbing toward the outer space. Today, I'm wearing it in my favorite style of all, two ponytails that stick out on either side of my head and flap in the air like a pair of wings. One of these days, I just might make it, might take off and fly. The girls in your class, they wear those things to school because I've seen those in the pictures. They do, you're right. I have a lot of girls in my class that wear those um, beautiful ponytail holders in their hair. Um, I am so proud of you. You did a very good job of reading. I love my hair. Thank you, Miss Underwood. I enjoyed that book. My hair doesn't look like hers, but I love my hair too. I'm very glad that you love your hair too. Yeah, we all have kind of different hair, don't we? Miss Underwood's hair doesn't look like hers, but she loves her hair too. But you know what I think is really cool about that book, Sam? No, ma'am, what? I think it's really cool that this book taught us about accepting ourselves. Because we can't change what our hair looks like, can we? No, ma'am. Well, my mom changes what her hair looks like because she says she doesn't like gray hair. Oh, no, Sam, sometimes we, we're not supposed to share some things about what moms do. But what Miss Underwood really meant is that we should love ourselves no matter what kind of hair God gave us. And if you have beautiful hair like this beautiful little girl in this book, or you have hair like Miss Underwood, or you have hair like Sam, you should love it, right? Yes, ma'am. Because we should all learn to accept ourselves for who we are. And then, once we love ourselves, then we can give that love to others, right, boys and girls? And Sam? Yes, ma'am. Now, I know that a lot of people who are watching this have hair just like this beautiful little girl. And when you come to my classroom, you have all different cool new hairstyles. And I bet you can relate to her when she was talking about pulling and crying. And, but you know what? Miss Underwood thinks that those hairstyles are really awesome and really cool. And they're really worth the wait. So, remember, when mom's mom or the grown-up or whoever TT is, is doing your hair, because I know a lot of you go to TT's house to get your hair done, remember, they are just spinning and weaving that hair into something really awesome and unique that only is for you. How cool is that? I think that is pretty awesome. And I want you to remember to think about how awesome it is to have hair that is just for you. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. So, I want you to remember that today you should love yourself and accept yourself from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, just like Miss Underwood does. And I don't want to hear one of my students or one of the boys and girls that watch this video say anything ugly about themselves. Because when those ugly words reach into your brain, they stand hope. And so remember, we read that book earlier that says, I am enough. And so if you start getting worried of those ugly words of, my hair's ugly, or I'm not the right skin color, or 
any of those other things. I'm not tall enough. I'm too tall. Any of those things like that. If, it, if you wouldn't let somebody else say it about you, then you don't get to say it about yourself. Okay? So I want you to remember that rule. Number one rule. If you would get mad if somebody said it about you, then don't say it about yourself. Okay? And I want for you to celebrate your hair today. So today, Miss Underwood wore her hair down. And her hair, most of the time you don't see it this way because Miss Underwood's hair is naturally wavy. Most of the time, boys and girls in her, her class does not see it that way because Miss Underwood will straighten the wavy out. But I decided if I was going to read you about a book about loving my hair, I should love my hair. So my hair is naturally wavy. And so see, Miss Underwood's hair is naturally wavy. And so I wore it naturally wavy just for you today. And Sam wore his hair on his antenna and afro puffs today. Yes, ma'am. I wanted to make sure everybody saw my afro puffs. See them? And y'all know Afro Puffs are one of my favorite hairstyles, right? So, I want you to celebrate your hair today and celebrate loving yourself today. So, do something that makes you love yourself today, grown-ups included. Make sure that you celebrate loving yourself this Saturday. So, I send you love and best wishes. And you know what? Don't you forget that I love you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And Sam, you know what? Miss Underwood, I know what you're going to say. They almost forgot to give you a virtual hug. Sam, you know, it is a wonder. It is no wonder you're a bookworm because you are so smart. Well, what are we waiting on? Let's go for it, boys and girls. She needs her hugs. All right, let's get in. Sam, you getting in with us? I wouldn't be left out of a hug, Miss Underwood. I'm part of your class. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh, that was a good hug. Yeah, I like hugs too. All right. Don't forget. Love yourself today. I love you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And bye from Sam and I. See you later.